Hello my sweet friends and welcome to DIY with Nadia. Today I'm making 5 DIYs using Dollar Tree Valentine greeting cards. I got this wooden frame from the Dollar Tree last year, but I have also seen these at Michaels for 99 cents. Grabbing my black chalk paint, I'm going to give it one coat in the front of the frame and on the sides. Now I'm grabbing my Dollar Tree Valentine's card and I'm going to remove the wording from the front of the card, which is the love you and XOXO. After I laid the wording out, I realized that the word you was a little bit too big. So I decided to remove the little hearts from both sides of the word you and I think it turned out pretty cool. Using the heart that was in the frame originally, I'm just tracing around the picture that I'm using and then cutting it out. Next, I'm grabbing a paint marker and I'm just tracing the outline of the heart about 1 8 inch from the actual frame. This gave the little heart such an elegant look. Now I'm grabbing some jute cord, making a simple little bow, and then I'm just hot gluing it to the bottom of my little frame, and on top of the bow or in the center of the bow, I'm hot gluing a little pearl sticker. Along with these very talented DIYers, I'm participating in the Valentine's Day Hop. In order to win the $60 Amazon gift card, all you have to do is comment on each one of our videos. You have a week to comment on all six channels. So when you're done watching this video, click on the link in the description box below and hop on over to the next person, comment on their video, and then hop on to the next and the next, and that is how it works. Now. Let's get back to the video. For this project, I'm starting with four stir sticks that I got for free from my paint store. And then I'm also using this pencil pouch and I'm measuring just to make sure that my stir sticks are a little bit smaller than our pouch. Using my miter box and hacksaw, I'm cutting all the paint sticks down to size. Next, I'm lining up my stir sticks and using the leftover pieces, I'm going to hot glue them straight onto my little board. And this made this board really, really strong. Using this tool to remove stitches, I'm going to remove the stitches along the zipper line and also at the bottom of the pouch. For a cleaner look, I gave my sign a coat of white chalk paint by Rust-Oleum in the front. And now I'm just hot gluing the burlap to my sign. Now I'm grabbing this little Valentine's card that had a little jar in front of it. I'm removing the jar and I wanted to remove the baker's twine but when I did that I realized there was a little baker's twine heart in front of it and it was really securely tied on there. So I decided to leave it and just hot glued the jar to the bottom center of my little sign. Then I grabbed red and white baker's twine that I had on hand from the Dollar Tree, wrapped it around the top of my sign, and tied it securely. Next, I'm grabbing some of these mini wreath making kits that I found at the Dollar Tree, grabbing a pink heart, and I just drew two little hearts, and I cut them out. After cutting the baker's twine tails a little shorter, I'm grabbing the hearts we just cut out, and I'm hot gluing them to the ends of the little tails. Now I'm making a simple shabby little bow. I just grabbed the baker's twine, wrapped it around my fingers a few times, and tied the bow off. And I'm just hot gluing the little bow on top of the knot of the baker's twine. For my sign to stand out just a little bit more, I'm grabbing a gray marker and just going along the edges. But my marker ended up being really dark, like a black. So then I decided to grab some sandpaper and just kind of send it out, kind of smooth it out to just take some of that darkness away. And I think it turned out absolutely perfect. What do you guys think? For this project, you're going to need this little kind of like shadow box or a 3D sign. 
And I'm going to be using the back of the sign and I'm going to paint the flat part, the sides, and basically all the edges except at the bottom where my sign is going to stand. And I'm just painting everything in the white chalk paint. Now I'm grabbing a bushel and a half of these hydrangeas and I'm going to take them all off the stems. Now grabbing the flowers, I'm hot gluing them to the bottom of my little shadow box. Grabbing another bundle of the flowers, I'm just cutting off a little bit at the end just to separate them because I'm going to hot glue them separately at this point. Now I'm grabbing greenery from the hydrangea and I'm removing the inside little plastic part and then I'm going to hot glue the greenery to the top of my shadow box. Next I'm filling up the top with more of those beautiful hydrangea flowers. For the bow I will be using this beautiful pink and white gingham ribbon and I'm just grabbing my needle and thread pushing it through the center and then wrapping it around my little bow a few times and then tying it off in the back. And that way I have a nice perfect little bow that is tight in the middle and that'll give me a chance to put a little pearl in the center of the bow. Now I'm just cutting the tails on a little slant and I'm singeing the edges so they don't fray. And here's the card that we're going to use. It has a little red truck on it. So I'm going to take the little truck and then I'm going to take these little stickers. I'm going to stick one of the pearl stickers in the middle of the bow. Two of the smallest little pearl stickers are going to go on the inside tires of my little truck. How adorable is this project? For the finishing touch, I'm just hot gluing the truck straight onto the florals. The first thing I'm going to do for this project is grab this frame that I got at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to give it two coats of white chalk paint. In one of my scrapbooking books I found this gorgeous burlap sheet so I'm going to grab it and I'm going to cut it to the size of the frame. Now I'm just using simple Elmer's glue and I'm gluing my sheet straight onto the backing of my picture frame. Next, I'm just cutting off the second page of my card and then I'm grabbing these hearts from the Dollar Tree and I grabbed the three wooden ones that were all the same size and I gave them two coats of white Rosoleum chalk paint and set them aside to dry for about half an hour. Now I'm just bringing the picture frame back together and I do recommend hot gluing everything in place once you have the background in place. That way you know your card for example is going to be nicely centered and now I'm just going to hot glue the little hearts in place. I just measured to make sure I was pretty much in the center. Using jute cord I'm making three little bows for my hearts. Now I'm just hot gluing the bows to the center of the hearts and because that little hook is really flimsy in the back I'm just grabbing more jute cord and making a little loop to hang my sign. For this project I will be using this heart sign from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to be using the back and I'm going to give it two coats of white Rust-Oleum chalk paint. To spell out the word love for the sign I will be using this Valentine's card from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to grab each one of these letters and cut them out separately. Now I'm grabbing one of these hearts. This was in a set of five, I believe, and I'm going to use the back of it. So I'm just going to smooth it out in the back where the ribbon was attached to the back of the sign. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it with black chalk paint. The reason I chose this little heart is because it has rivets that match the actual big sign. And I thought it was just so perfect and so cute. 
Now I'm hot gluing the black heart towards the bottom of my little sign and then I'm grabbing a white felt one and these white little felt ones are so cute. I absolutely love this at the Dollar Tree this year for Valentine's. Now I'm grabbing my letters from the card and I'm hot gluing them straight onto my heart sign while using a ruler to make sure everything is nice and straight. To balance out the red in the letters, I'm grabbing a satin ribbon from the Dollar Tree. It has little accents of gold in it and I made a simple bow and then just using needle and thread, I brought it together in the center, cut the tails on a slant and used a little pearl sticker for the center of the bow. Now I'm grabbing some white cord from the Dollar Tree and then just tying little knots to hang the sign. When I hung the sign, I just felt something was missing. So I grabbed a black permanent marker and I'm just outlining the heart going in about one eighth of an inch. And it just made the heart pop and stand out. And I absolutely love how the sign turned out. I hope you enjoyed these Valentine's greeting card DIYs. Let me know down below which one was your favorite. Now it's time to hop on over to the next person in the hop. Their video link is in my description box and right here.